Hickok 45 here, and we just wanted to congratulate the Nashville Predators on a great season this year. They're right down the road, my hometown. So we appreciate it, Predators. And to help celebrate, guess what we're going to do? I promised you a slugfest with this shotgun, the Auto 5, the Browning Auto 5 Buck Special. And it has five rounds in it. Let's see what they will do. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh man. So you know I'm a happy camper on a slugfest day, okay? Uh, we promise to do a slugfest every now and then. We have done two or three and it's just going to be a part of the operation around here because uh, there's just really not many ways to have more fun as far as I'm concerned. Federal ammo in this. I've got a little blood and a little red uh, paint on me. We've been painting targets and having trouble with paint cans and everything else. Uh, these are slugs. That's what we use in a slug fest. And uh, they're considered low recoil. You know, so, uh, okay, that's like a, we're going to shoot small nuclear weapons today. Okay, slugs. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with them. Now, someone mentioned in the original video on this about how the friction ring setup uh, needed to be changed for high brass and for slugs. But, you know, I did that. I switched it up. And uh, according to the manual and what people had suggested, the way you're supposed to when you're firing high brass, and it wouldn't fire them reliably. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't cycle them at all. Isn't that funny? Uh, so I just put it back where it was. Now, it would fire these magnum slugs I found but it wouldn't fire like these. It wouldn't cycle them at all. So that's kind of wild. I think maybe it's because this is a buck special. This, this really is designed for shooting slugs. Maybe it has a stronger spring already or something. So it's all I can figure. But uh, so I had to put them back where they were. All right, slugs. Now I also have a sad uh, story to report here. I lost the little white ball out of the sight, which I loved. So I put a little white paint there for now, and I don't know if I'll ever find one for that or not. If you have an idea, I've looked around on the web. You can find all kinds of sight inserts for shotguns, but nah, not exactly like that, I'm afraid. So anyway, hope to find one, keep it original. But I can see, yeah, I can see that white, at least right now. Well, <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's put one on the target over here. Let's see where the wad hits and where the slug hits. See if they're anywhere close together. Yeah, they were right in the middle. Let's try that again. Well, that time they spread out a little bit. <laughs> Don't you love what a slug does to anything? Man. So uh, I'll try to remember to put the link to the original video on the shotgun. I ain't telling you nothing in this video because we've already done that. I shall not impart any new knowledge. Let me put it that way. Uh, safety on there and it holds four plus one Yeah, we did a video on this shotgun for new folks uh, So check it out if you don't know how to search somebody's YouTube channel go to our uh, uh, Video let's see FAQ video 54 Okay, of course if you don't know how to search a YouTube channel, how do you find FAQ video 54 good question, but you <laughs> you can find it it'll let you know so we've done an original on this and uh Oh, it's a, it's a nice, nice shotgun. I really like it. The sights are right on. I mean, they are right on, bro. I can even hit that big old kitty litter thing. <laughs> nice, nice. I love what it does to a bowling pin. If you don't know, bowling pins are rather heavy, blunt objects, and uh, they don't move too much unless you hit them with a slug like that. Like those swinging ones there? <laughs> oh man. God, I wounded that one. That gives you an idea what a slug is capable of. There's a paint can that's messed up on us. I'll see if I can hit it. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh. It just holds five, but that's okay. It is so cool that that's all right. I don't need high capacity. Uh, the, the Auto 5 is just off the scale uh, cool, I think. I, I really like it. I'm so glad that you all hounded me for so many years to where I finally got my hands on one. 
And as luck would have it, as I've said before, I just rely on dumb luck. It's gotten me through my life. I, hap I happened into one that is just perfect. I didn't even know they made this. I didn't know this thing existed. And what do I do? It pays to be a gun shop hound because I, I drop in gun shops all the time. And you just never know what somebody has traded or what they happen to have. And didn't know this thing existed, but in a shorter barrel configuration, in a uh, basically designed for slugs, it'll shoot anything, but it's designed for slugs mainly. And guess who likes to shoot slugs, of course. And it fits just perfect. It feels really, it fits not bad even without the extension, to tell you the truth. Okay. Let's go across the hill. Let's put all five of these on the gong, all right? Or at the gong. <laughs> I see it rocking. Oh man, looks like I almost made a face on it. Uh, not intentionally, that's for sure. Now, since it's a slug buck special, I might need to do a little hunting with it over there, I think. They're on safe, in the chamber. Oh man, what a shotgun. Oh, it's a good day for a slug fest. It's never a bad day. I think I put in four, did I not? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, I won't put it in my pocket. No problem. Come back to the table. Since it's a hunting shotgun, uh, well, let's first, let's, uh, for my sight, the paint comes off my sight. Let me try those red plates. I'll start on the left. I go to the middle. Now let's try that really small one. Woo! That one's from uh, freedomarmament.com. Uh, it is not very big. <laughs> but I can hit it. Oh, did I hit it? It's moving. Try again. All right, look at that thing swing. <laughs> now that's not a very big target. And um, I mean, I'm not bragging on my shooting. I'm bragging on a slug. I'm gonna try it again, the same target. Got one left here, I think. Well, I know right where to hold, I just can't do it. Uh, Cause I have been popping that thing. Again, the old smooth bore. Uh, shotgun is is uh, remarkable in terms of what it will do with a slug. Really remarkable. I've got some small targets over there. I have a watermelon and a uh, uh, maybe I ought to try those while I'm still able to focus. Right, not jarred up too much from all the gunfire. Let's uh, let's try that watermelon. Might even be able to hit that pig behind it. I don't know. <laughs> you see it on top of the post over there. All right. Okay. <laughs> there was so much smoke. I don't know whether I blew it up or it just fell off. Let's try that orange uh, two liter down there. All right. I tell you, it's quite a rifle. We go back to that little plate, red plate. Look at that thing. I mean, it's just amazing to me. I'm going to try a ram. It went over it, I think. Yeah. Boy, it just knocks them. It is, uh, it is cool. Okay, so this, I'm sure everything was okay. It sounded, sounded hollow there, I guess, because the bolt's open. It was opened up. Oh, boy. Slugfest. Well, how many can my shoulder take? It can actually take a lot. Uh, wow. Boy. One of these days, I'm going to get me a car without a muffler. And I'll be so cool. So cool.
There we go. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's take down a pig or two. <laughs> and another ram. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, and the turkey's still up there on the top. Oh yeah, I got one more. Let's just put it on the red plate on the left. So I think I said in the original video that this is just my new rifle. And you know, it, it really could be, couldn't it? At moderate distances for, I guess, shooting that's not too uh, precision oriented. Uh, but wow, the, what you can do with a, a shotgun continues to surprise me and impress me. It, it just really is. You feel like uh, I could bring out the Op 3 Springfield or like any firearm and shoot at any, anything over there and hit it as easily with this. You really have that feeling of confidence in, in what you're doing. Obviously, if you put them in a bench rest or whatever, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot a tighter group with a 30-06, <laughs> but it's, it is pretty remarkable. And uh, you, you think I'm finished, but really I'm not. I got a little one more time, okay? So, it is a slugfest. And boy, we are so lucky to have help from Federal and uh, be able to do this and just sling slugs, you know, just sling them out there. Big old one ounce slugs, you just foster slugs, nothing fancy, but they do the job, they do it. Uh, I think, I think, oh, I haven't done any buffalo hunting. I'm gonna take out both of those, one on the left first. We have lots of game for dinner now. Let's put the last three on the gong. <laughs> Look at him swinging and ringing. So pretty neat. Uh, you got to check out the first video on this shotgun. And uh, many of you are familiar with these, of course, already. I discovered that when we posted that first video. Uh, lots of stories about about many of you growing up with these your grandfather your your father you know having these a couple of sad stories about people losing them in australia you know uh, to the gun ban that sort of thing but just a lot of history with these babies and it's amazing that i for so long uh, had never owned one or even had ever fired one uh, i think well this is the first one i have ever fired yeah so uh what was wrong with me discovered it late in life didn't i so many cool guns so little time you know to get to so uh i guess i have uh oh i'm sorry john we forgot our, our we, we have a cinder block down here okay we gotta put a couple on it <laughs> oh boy don't you wish we would script our video so we'd know what we're doing all right all right, I promise this is it. All right, let me back up a little bit. A real cinder block. Let's get him, let's get him. <laughs> oh man, got him. Oh, here's a two liter we almost forgot too. <laughs> There's a, <laughs> oh man. Well, let's take out the other ram over there. Got one more for the gong. Okay, so we really are finished now. Uh, whew, whew, at least you all are. You never know how much shooting we do off camera and everything else. You know, after all, I think most of you know this by now, uh, you're basically just being invited into what we've been doing for decades. And that's just, just shooting stuff, in, in fact, right here. So, uh, you yeah. know, Glad you could come by again. 
And, uh, and again, I hope you appreciate and you support the people who support us and make all this possible. Uh, we, just, we just really hope you do. The NRA, join if you, if you can see your way clear to do that at our link, uh, budsgunshop.com. Lots of good stuff there. Uh, they help us a great deal. Federal, need I say more about federal, feeding slugs to, uh, to a hungry shotgun and a hungry shooter, me. So anyway, we really appreciate it. Life is good. you guys enjoyed that because I know I sure did. While well, I've got you here I wanted to let you guys know about our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can be certified in gunsmithing and you can also get an associate's degree in firearms technology. And they also do a lot of work with veterans. They accept the GI Bill. They also have hands-on experience even though it's a distance learning program. Uh, so just wanted to let you guys know about them. Also you can find them at sdi.edu. Uh, that's the Sonoran Desert Institute. And also, um, just want to let you guys know we have merchandise now. So if you want to uh, buy any Hickok 45 merchandise, you can go over to our store. The link is in the description of every video. And there's also a link kind of on the header of the uh, main uh, channel page, the, the, the main YouTube channel. And so we've got that. And also, if you want to find more of our content in other places, it's everywhere. Um, you can go to full30.com. We have uh, most or all of our videos over there. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45 Facebook. Um, you can find Hickok45 on Instagram. Uh, I think it's the real Hickok45 over there. And then also on Twitter is Hickok45. And then me, the son, the and son, John Hickok. You can find me at uh, Hickok45 and son on YouTube. I also do a podcast called Gun Culture Radio, which you can find on that YouTube channel and also on iTunes. And there's also a John Hickok Facebook page, which you can find the link to on the Hickok 45 and Son channel page. There's a link over there. And uh, that's all I can think of for now. It's a lot to digest. So you're gonna wanna think about that for a little bit and then watch one of these other videos that's like down there or over there somewhere. Um, Cause some of these look pretty good.